years go by, but the memory stays. And over the good old days. Thank you so much for going down memory lane with me. Let me take you back and tell you the story of my aunt, Edwina Sue Taylor. Uh, my Aunt Sue, uh, like I said, growing up, my Aunt Sue was adopted uh, by my papa or my grandma Ida Bell. Uh, learn, learn more uh, uh, briefing of that uh, uh, there in the memory uh, lane archives uh, with uh, what the story of Ron Ice. My Aunt Sue, uh, just, she uh, inherited the house on uh, Edwin Avenue Southeast, as I had mentioned in the uh, story of Ron Ice uh, along the way. I believe I believe I mentioned it there, but uh, nonetheless, uh, my aunt Sue had had had, uh, had married Ron, and uh, after uh, Ron, he was an idiot, of course. And like I said, uh, that story is in the memory lane uh, archives. See it and laugh with me, or uh, and uh, uh, and uh, get a laugh as I share it anyway. But my uh, aunt Sue, uh, like I said, she married Earl Taylor uh, Shorty, and uh, like I said, that's a little bit briefing there as well. Uh, in the uh, story of Ron Ice. But uh, my Aunt Sue, uh, after she married uh, sh uh, Shorty or Earl, if you will, uh, she intended to uh, have a little bit of something to where she would kind of lean over for some reason or another. And I don't know if it was just the disease or something that uh, Earl had given her uh, or what the situation was. But uh, after uh, they had gotten, uh, after they had gotten, uh, uh, after they had gotten a divorce, uh, my Aunt Sue had uh, been uh, talking and communicating by phone and whatnot to a guy named Mike. Uh, forget his last name. Nonetheless, when my mom and I uh, and my cousin Ron, Ronnie had lived there on Edwin Avenue after her and uh, Shorty, her and Earl had, uh, had gotten uh, their divorce, we had lived, you know, there with her uh, for about a month and a half, two months previously, and then uh, she had moved into a group home and then gave m uh, my mom the house there on Edwin until uh, they had uh, uh, come in and had condemned the place because the upstairs had uh, no uh, uh, out, only one outlet, and it was all run uh, by uh, uh, by uh, by an extension cord, if you will, or extension cord, so to speak. Nonetheless. Like I said, she was all bent over and stuff, and uh, you know, she got into that group home and everything. But she talked to a guy named Mike, and uh, she had a picture of Mike and everything. And you'd hear her giggling down there for no apparent reason whatsoever. You go down there and ask her if she's all right, and she's like, oh, yeah, Mike's trying to get after me. She'd be sitting there uh, coloring pictures and, uh, yeah, you know, out of, uh, out, of, out of a coloring book. And she'd be sitting there talking and giggling, saying that Mike was trying to get after her, and Mike was trying to steal her crayons. And... Just she was like way out there, and uh, her mindset was uh, that of a uh, maybe a six or seven year old uh, child. And uh, my aunt Sue was really, uh, like I said, she was really, uh, you know, she was a good person, you know, in her own right. But uh, she could definitely, uh, she could definitely make you go, all right then, okay, you know. I mean, you know, she was just that way, and uh, that was my aunt Sue. And uh, uh, nonetheless, she just, like I said, she was just that way, you know, and. Uh, uh, she would just, you know, her and Mike would be fighting over crayons and stuff. Like I said, I think she only seen Mike a couple, two, three times, talked to him on the phone a couple times or whatever, but Mike would always get there after her crayons and everything, and I don't know what her mindset was and uh, everything, but uh, she'd come up to me, Roger! Roger! She, you know, Roger! 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 And my cousin Sean and I used to just shake our heads and go, "Good," God. especially when she see you uh, on the street or something. She'd do that. It's so embarrassing. Nonetheless, my aunt Sue, like I said, she was a good person, and her, or she is a good person in her own right. And uh, uh, this, or, uh, these days, I hear that uh, she straightened up, uh, uh, got herself a, a, a real uh, a good uh, outlook on life, and I understand everything's good. And I'm not sure if she's coloring pictures with Mike anymore, but. Uh, <laughs> Nonetheless, uh, just a funny time uh, to actually know that uh, Mike was trying to steal her crayons, and Mike was not in the room, people, not not at all. And uh, like I said, it was just something that you look back on and laugh about. Like I said, my aunt Sue was a good person, and uh, uh, and in her own right, uh, she would just sit there and uh, you know uh, you know do whatever she had to do. And like I said, uh, she's got a better outlook on life, and uh, I haven't seen her in oh, it's been. 
I'd say a good uh, uh, nine, ten years better, somewhere in that area. Thank you so much for going down memory lane with me. I'll catch you next time.